watch unboxing. I uh, just got uh, myself in Seiko 5 Sports. I've been wanting one of these things for um, some time now, but just never got to them because I had to prioritize the you know the funds for another watches. But now I finally pull the trigger on the one. So let's see. Comes in a you know pretty simple black cardboard box, and we have the inner box. Also instruction manual, warranty card. You know, seen plenty of these before. Pretty standard stuff from Seiko. <clears throat> so the inner box, another car simple cardboard box. I kind of like this. You know, it's simple, low key. I went for the the orange dial one because I. Uh, why not? I just want to try out uh, because most watch in my collection are like dark blue or black, so I wanted something a little bright color. So I went for this one uh, after seeing a lot of videos on it because but drawn to me is a sunburst orange dial. It looks great. And um, the model number, I can't remember. Yeah, SRPD 59. Got a 4R36 movement, probably the most most common movement in the world right now. Like uh, hundreds of micro brands use the, the 4R35 uh, movement. It's, it's just basically the same movement without the, the day complication. Well, when you buy a Seiko, the first thing you should check is the, those, er, those things align, because that's not always the case. Well, the very first thing I usually check is the bezel. Uh, not quite, but there's not friction. The bezel to kind of make it work. Yeah, it's not the worst I've seen. And second thing is, uh, does the chapter ring align? Uh, it's pretty spot on at the 12. Uh, at the 6, it's uh, slightly to the uh, right. but. This assignment, I, I think I'm on most uh, all these Seiko 5, they have problem lining the um, chapter ring at the 6 o'clock. But to me, I'm not too bothered by it at 6. If it was a little bit off at 12, I'd be more bothered by it. It's yeah, it sounds weird, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, another thing you should always check for is the, the hour hand, does the hour hand align? Uh, by hour hand alignment means if when the minute hand hits the 60 minute mark, if the hour hand hits the hour, it looks like it does. Yeah, it does. So about, just about to watch, you know, 100 meter water resistance is the SKS the SKX case, but without screw down crown. And instead of a solid case back, it has this display case back. You can see the 4R36 movement. You know, very simple, not much to look at, no decoration. But it's still nice to have <clears throat> because I think these watches are targeted to, um, you know, new, new buyers. People new to mechanical watches, they just want something that looks looks fashionable, looks good, reasonably affordable, <clears throat> and you know, I just expect from say entry level Seiko's got hollow end links. The links, I'm not sure if they're solid. They kind of look like it's solid, but uh, I don't know. I don't know the clasp is. Your standard Seiko press class, but I think this retails for three hundred dollars. I got it on a little bit off uh, sale. I got it for two fifty, which I think is reasonable for a watch like this. So yeah, you have it, the Seiko Fire Sports orange dial.